This is 10 News to Go, your quick check of the big stories we're tracking and where you can get updates on them. And we start with breaking news in Carmel Mountain Ranch. So on the left, that's Sky 10 keeping a close eye on the huge backup. You can see that from above. The terrible crash you can see on the right. Seven hours after that, the drive in that area is still bad. But there may be some good news. Let's get to 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala live on the ground. Uh, is there good news for drivers this morning, Mimi? Well, Jason, at around 710, they hope that they'll have all these main lanes reopen. Um, officers told us about 20 minutes ago that they expected to have at least two of these lanes reopened, but they're still out here investigating and double checking their work. So the investigation is taking longer than they expected. These lanes have been blocked off since about 1230 this morning. So all of the cars heading south are being diverted into the carpool lanes, still causing this major backup. We're just south of Camino del Norte. So again, investigators just taking measurements and pictures here after that crash. They're almost wrapped up with their investigation and hope to have this all reopened by 710. We will keep you updated. For now, we're live in Carmel Mountain Ranch, Mimi Alcala, 10 News. And this is a look at where this is happening with our 10 News Live traffic tracker and all of that red. That is the backup there. So if you're going to be planning on taking the 15 this morning, again, just the carpool lanes are open. You can take the carpool lanes, but it is really slow out there. So it looks like you're looking at a 32 minute commute now leaving Escondido to the 56. We do have a sky 10 over the area and you can see the heavy backup as well. Oh, it's just bumper to bumper there. You can't take the five freeway as an alternate right now, though. It looks like it's just 17 minutes. Carl's bad to the 56 and happening today. Students at Torrey Pines High School will arrive to find flowers and signs expressing love and grief for one of their classmates. Today is the first day of classes since police officers shot and killed a student there. 10 News reporter Mary McKenzie is live at the school. Mary, I know you just spoke to the principal. I was the superintendent, Virginia. He says they will try to get through a normal day here today in terms of the schedule, but he recognizes, of course, that that may have to change as students arrive here and need the resources that they'll have on hand. That includes grief counselors and support staff that's being brought in specifically to talk to teachers and students about what happened this weekend. That is, as the memorial grows, to remember Jacob Peterson, students will be coming to school within the next hour, many for the first time since Saturday's tragedy. Some were here this weekend to leave something behind and we may never know what led Peterson to call police to the high school at 3:30 Saturday morning as officers then got out of their car. They say Peterson pulled what looked like a handgun out of his waistband and pointed it at them. They say they had no choice but to shoot and kill him. Teachers are going to be told that they need to be prepared to adjust their plans today in order to handle the situation. We will, of course, keep you posted on how people do as they get through today. Now happening today as well, San Diego City Council members will take another look at the mayor's proposed budget. Today's meeting is part of a series of reviews. Now that budget plan includes money for key points such as infrastructure, you know, fixing the potholes all over San Diego. It also includes cuts, some serious cuts to police officer recruitment and retention. And it proposes slashing $4.7 million from arts funding. Art supporters will be rallying against those cuts today downtown. That rally starts at 730 this morning in front of the city administration building. We have details of that proposed budget on our website for you to look at. We will also post updates from today's meeting on 10news.com. Happening today, California lawmakers will consider legalizing the California rolling stop, basically turning the stop sign into a yield sign when it comes to bicyclists, not drivers. The sponsor of the bill says the longer it takes for a cyclist to get through an intersection, the more likely they are to be hurt. Idaho is the only other state with a similar law like this, and records show fewer bike-related injuries there after the law took effect. Now, we're going to stay on top of what the Transportation Committee does with this bill today because we know San Diego has a ton of cyclists who really care about this law. So you can find any more information on this one on 10news.com. Happening today, the federal government could narrow down the field of contractors vying to build the border wall. Now, these are some of the proposals we have shown you before. The companies that make it past round one will have to come up with more detailed plans. Then in June, the government will pick which companies can build prototypes here in San Diego. If we find out a San Diego company makes it through, we will send an alert on our 10 News app. I'm Team 10 investigator Allison Ash, and if you've ever had your car towed, you know it can be a real pain in the you know what. 
it can also be really expensive. This guy knows that all too well. He had major sticker shock when his car was towed just a few miles, and the towing company held his car hostage for more than $500. They were going to charge $400 for the tow itself, um, like $390 or something like that. $75, $70 just to open the gate, and then they were going to charge me $50 for having the, the car in on, um, on yard fees. I'm checking California's towing laws and finding out why the very same agency that had his car towed was also on his side when it came to getting that car released. How they saved him hundreds of dollars in a Team 10 exclusive. That's tonight on 10 News at 6. I mean, this looks like a postcard shot. It's a live shot from Julian right now where we did see a little bit of snow, but you can see it's clearly melted on off. That is a wonderful shot. Another great shot up in the North County at Dixon Lake. Daryl sending this one in. Loving the blue skies this morning. We are going to see mostly sunny and partly cloudy skies today and warmer temperatures, 68 degrees along our coastline. Inland areas were about 15 to 20 degrees warmer than yesterday at 72. The news continues with Good Morning America Next. The latest on reactions to the new health care bill. Some congressmen are coming home to protests and packed town halls. And if you have our 10 News app downloaded, we're going to send you alerts updating you on the situation going on in the 15 South. Hopefully it gets better soon. As we heard, the signal are expected to end about Still a mess out there. Minutes. Yeah, and there's a residual effect a lot of the time. We'll be updating you in 30 minutes.